Well, I'm joined here by the blindfold king Timur Garev. Uh, Timur, uh, you have been playing really well here. Uh, you have been in the top boards. Uh, how have you prepared for this event? And uh, tell us a bit about your experience playing here. Oh uh, yeah, it's been it's been a fun time uh, uh, facing the the heavyweights. <laughs> so uh, it's truly a, an honor and privilege to have a tournament of this sort of format. I wish. Uh, a lot of the uh, top level chess uh, uh, had the stages where you could, uh, you know, like bring in your best and see maybe you, you come through uh, on top. So uh, uh, in terms of preparation, uh, no big, no big uh, like uh, work on chess, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, I've been playing quite a bit. Uh, just kind of working on the flow of the game. I've played the. Uh, like a very, a couple very strong classical tournaments. I've played like 14 tournaments since uh, Live Chess came back around. Ah, since 14 summertime. already. So, uh, yeah, I think it's been quite a bit of practice, uh, game analysis, uh, maybe a 1% uh, uh, dis distancing from uh, like uh, the computer analysis. Maybe that's kind of helpful at times because you have too many thoughts when you have when you keep looking at the best mm. best moves so here it's just a matter of uh, executing on uh, your ideas and a lot of times that surprise move can uh, switch things around regardless of the current assessment or how strong the move is <laughs> yeah you you always uh, played your own ideas not really caring too much about computer lines uh, how was your experience playing the world championship challenger right now oh man uh, uh, obviously I realized that uh, I'm facing uh, someone who's, uh, you know, who's got all the uh, best cards in the, in the deck, right? Figured out. Yeah, and so. he he prepared so hard for the match, so <laughs> exactly. very well prepared. Exactly. So I think uh, for Jan, he's, he's, he's kind of like sort of calm down, relaxed. But I know his style. He's not your uh, uh, dry sort of player. He's not. He's uh, he's the sort of you know he takes chances, same as uh, Fabi. Uh, same as you know, like practical players, especially against a guy like me. <laughs> so they're like, all right, I gotta win this game. So, so I know they're gonna, you know, this, this top guys they're gonna uh, overstretch. So if I don't see, uh, you know, how I'm losing, I'm just gonna go for it. So with my ideas. So it's been working uh, overall. Uh, uh, I think really good. Uh, so in terms of how it's gonna go tomorrow, we'll see. You know, another exciting day. Yeah, and until now, which has been your favorite game of this event? Oh, maybe this last one. I mean, even though I lost, that, that, was, that was pretty fun. I think it was interesting. Um, yeah, maybe this is the very last one. <laughs> and last... Because <laughs> it's still in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> lastly, I have to ask you, Poland is known as the land of kind of blindfold chess uh, people, right? Uh, you are the blindfold king, but there was Nidorf here. Then yeah, there was Nidorf, there was yeah. also another uh, personality who was very good at giving blindfold simuls. So any I, any plans of doing something blindfold related here? Oh, I'd, I'd love to uh, get in the flow and uh, experience the uh, the sort of mindset that Miguel Nidorf had at the time. But it's the sort of thing that uh, you know, like how does it feel like you know, flying in the air of, like million miles an hour and like playing chess? Like what? How would it? work well like uh why would you why would you want to do that right like <laughs> does your life depend on it right to play chess well so uh miguel nidorf at the time uh, uh, was searching for publicity to during world war ii it was really rough times so a lot of the relatives uh, he was fortunate at the very time to be stuck uh, uh after a competition in argentina and uh he uh, uh, had a lot of relatives uh, that were mm -hmm. exposed during the, the atrocities in the World War II, so he wanted to let him know that he was alive. So he present. thought that blindfold, giving a blindfold simul to like 40, 43 people yeah. would help it make a worldwide news. Exactly, and then they, if uh, unfortunately uh, he wasn't able to reconnect, as I as I heard. Uh, but, uh, you know, that was his way of reaching out. And, uh, you know, when your life depends on it, uh, the life of the people are close to you, then you do really well. So you got to have a meaningful vision, like yeah. uh, you do with, uh, with chess, with chess-based India. So truly uh, 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 
good luck and uh, truly appreciation for you and Maruta in uh, bringing the, uh, uh, the, uh, the value into the game. Thank you so much, Timur, and wish you good luck tomorrow and hope you will be able to beat many more heavyweights in this event. Yeah, appreciate it. Cheers.